Well, in Gila County, which includes Payson, Globe, and areas north and east of the valley, even teenagers now have the chance to be vaccinated. That county is now booking shots first come first serve as long as you're at least 18 and happen to live in Gila County. So don't go thinking you could just take a quick road trip there. Brittany Thomason went out to Globe where county leaders are encouraging more people to get in line. I'll be giving your vaccine shot today. At just 18 years old, Jacob Jost might be one of the youngest people in Arizona with the COVID vaccine. It came off a little shock because it always comes off like you see on the news like that it's kind of like a scarce, like they're not really available. Have your arm nice and relaxed for me. The teenager works as a medical assistant at Cobre Valley Regional Medical Center in Globe. He went from giving shots to getting one himself. I was pretty excited just to kind of get it done with. Jacob made the decision to finally get vaccinated when Gila County opened appointments up for people 18 and older that live in the county. We received permission from the state health department last week to offer it during our drive through um, clinic that we held up in Payson, which was held Saturday and Sunday. The county doesn't want just anyone showing up here. If you come to the vaccination site, you have to either show your driver's license or some type of proof that you live in the area. Uh, so prior to that, we were struggling to find enough people to uh, make appointments for that. So the state gave me permission to offer it to any resident 18 and older. If you're going to ask me if 100% of those vaccines went to all, you know, Gila County residents, if there were some exceptions that squeaked through, I'd say probably, but um, you know, that's that, that's part of the, the, the situation as well. The Gila County Health Department says it's not worried about running out of vaccine. It's more concerned there may not be enough people in the area who want it. Our survey came back about uh, 50 to 60 percent of the residents would choose to get the vaccine if available. Jacob says he's just thankful for the opportunity to protect himself and the people he loves. I have like a little nephew's a little baby, so I'm having the vaccine puts a peace of mind for that. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's family.